Hello and welcome back and we are continuing with the uh, histology of blood vessels. We are going to see a virtual slide of a large artery and before we begin, at the outset let me thank uh, my good friend and colleague Dr. Michael Horsch, who is a professor of histology at the University of Michigan in US, uh, who kindly gave these uh, virtual slides for teaching purposes. Uh, we are currently using these virtual slides in our college education in, uh, in teaching histology for medical students in our college. Uh, so straight away, let us go into this. This is a, a slide, a virtual slide of a large artery, also called an elastic artery. By large artery, we mean that an artery with a caliber more than uh, 10 millimeter or one centimeter. We call it a large artery by definition. And so this is a large artery slide. And uh, let us first uh, look into the... Uh, the layers because as I said as I mentioned initially uh, it is by the layers the proportion of the layers that we can get get a clue that it whether it is an artery or a vein so if this is the lumen okay you can imagine this is a lumen you have only a part of a blood vessel we are focusing into the wall of the blood vessel this is the wall since this is a lumen we are focusing into the wall and you can clearly uh, see a difference of color this is the tunica intima. You can see how small tunica intima is. The thickness I've measured approximately 40 microns within this viewer uh, of virt virtual slide viewer. And uh, within this, the thickness of this tunica media is approximately 700 to 750 microns. And the thickness of the adventitia is approximately 300 microns. So obviously you can see that the media is the most thickest and hence definitely this is an artery. But in the artery, uh, can, can this be a large artery or can this be a small artery? For that, we need to focus on the media. For, but before that, let me uh, go systematically from the lumen to the outside. That means from the intima, media and adventitia. So first if I zoom into the media, you can see a little bit of blood over here. Uh, near the blood vessel wall and you can see simple squamous epithelium over here can you see flattened nuclei on the on the luminal side that is a simple squamous epithelium uh, that is the the endothelium of this blood vessel wall and this small thickness this short thickness that we have is the subendothelial connective tissue which is these two are very important components of the intima and uh, intima is also very important for understanding many diseases especially atherosclerosis uh, you need to know the functional importance of endothelium as well as the subendothelial connective tissue and this uh, pink line that you see over here where my cursor is moving that pink line is the internal elastic lamina which was mentioned in my initial overview video uh, that this is the internal elastic lamina it's very faint in this slide uh, but uh, we, we can see the other set of elastic fibers you can see more prominent elastic fibers you can see all of these elastic fibers are rather wavy in appearance okay you can see uh, can, can you see pink lines over here There's these pink wavy uh, fibers okay you call it elastic fibers so the innermost of this elastic fiber is the internal elastic lamina and if you look at the entire thickness uh, okay a, there is approximately I, I guess there may be 40 uh, fibers around here from the inside to the outside and the outermost of these I guess this is the outermost one that is the uh, external you can call it the external elastic lamina and all of these are elastic fibers Okay, and in between these elastic fibers, if you remember the overview video, between these elastic fibers, you can see a lot of nuclei. These nuclei are all smooth muscle nuclei and you don't have fibroblasts within this. So uh, this is the intima and this is the media. The media contains a lot of, if you look at this slide carefully, you can see numerous elastic fibers, uh, pink wavy fibers, okay, pink wavy fibers and sandwiched between that you have few uh, smooth muscles also but the predominant feature that you see here are obviously the pink wavy fibers now why are these pink wavy fibers important these fibers are not actually fibers these are actually sections of lamellae i told you that uh, the the intima media and adventitia are basically tubes so just like that uh, these fibers that you see are actually sheets okay if you can imagine uh, this single fiber and you can uh, throw that into space you can imagine that is a sheet actually Okay, so you have a sheet like this. Okay, outside that you have another sheet, outside that you have another sheet, and you say I've stacked sheets like this throughout the media. So you have around 40 sheets. If I, if I, if I zoom out, can you imagine the media contains around, around 40 to 50 sheets like this stacked one upon the other? I mean, inside out, they are stacked from inside to outside. And if you look carefully into these fibers, you can see some 
uh, gaps within these fibers. Can you see this fiber is coming and there is a discontinuation uh, if you look at the cursor carefully. Uh, so these are called fenestrations. So you are actually having fenestrations. If you look at this fiber, you have a fenestration over here. So these sheets are actually not continuous. They are not continuous barrier like sheets, but they are fenestrated. They have a lot of holes inside it. So each of these sheets has a lot of holes inside it. So uh, if you uh, imagine like that, uh, all these holes are actually pathways through which you can have communication from the lumen to the outside. So actually nutrients can move from the intimal side towards the outside or from the outside to the inside through the vasa vasorum, which are small blood vessels in the adventitia. They will pass nutrients to the outside and the blood within the lumen will pass nutrients within uh, to the half of the media. So all these nutrients or uh, molecules can diffuse in and out through these small openings. And uh, these sheets are also important in this case because these are elastic sheets like this. If you imagine this is a large artery, large artery, the classic example is an aorta. Uh, so if you, uh, if you think uh, in, a, in a big uh, picture perspective, this is the aorta mm. and you have the heart on that side, the heart is pumping, for example, the left ventricle is pumping blood into the aorta. You imagine the aorta will, will just distend out when the when the left ventricle in the systole pumps out blood the aorta will distend out and as the aorta distends out after the systole the aorta will recoil these elastic fibers they will allow the distension and the distended aorta will then recoil back that property is due to these innumerable number of sheets of elastic fibers these elastic lamella are responsible for the distension and the eventual recoil and these these two are very important uh, functional aspects of aorta uh, because for example you imagine this is the left ventricle and this is the aorta coming out of the left ventricle you imagine the uh, I, the left ventricle is pumping blood it will be filled within the aorta and the aorta will distend out. So imagine the blood enters into the aorta and the aorta distends out. Then the aorta will recoil. And this recoil is important because this recoil at the early phase of diastole will actually displace the blood back to the heart and also distally towards the arterial tree. This blood flow back to the heart is actually the mechanism by which the aortic and the pulmonary semilunar valves will close. So in that perspective also, these elastic fibers hold a lot of functional importance. So these elastic lamellae are very important for the, uh, the function of the aorta in a functional perspective, in a clinical perspective too. So coming to the adventitia, it's, uh, it's much more thinner. You can see the comparison. The media is much more thicker. The adventitia is much more thinner. And there are no much features. You only have connective tissue. And this connective tissue is actually blending with the connective tissue around it. Mm -hmm.